That word broken heart is not necessarily, you know, you're in a relationship with somebody and all of a sudden you break up and you're broken hearted. It doesn't mean that. It means when your heart is broken. When it's broken between the things of the world and things of God. He wants to bring healing in that area. He wants to bring healing when you when you when you when you're not sure, when you're confused, when your spirit man is broken. You know, the Bible talks about your heart. Also, it also means your spirit, your heart, where you speak from your heart. At the abundance of a man's heart, the mouth will speak. He's talking about your spirit. And people here, even under the sound of my voice right now, have a broken spirit. And he said he has come to heal the brokenhearted. He has come to bring deliverance to the captives, to set at liberty to those who are bound to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And that is now. This is the year. It's now. He's talking about a season. In the last days, I will pour out my Spirit. You know, God is always a God of reconciliation. He's always one to, to, to draw people unto Him. And if I, lift, if I lift the name of Jesus up, the Bible promises that He would draw all men unto Him. And if I'm speaking about things of the Spirit, it doesn't matter what I see or, or what, I, what my flesh might see. is what God knows and what my Spirit bears witness and what the Holy Spirit is doing. He speaks and does things we don't even know He's doing. And I was talking with my brother just a minute ago, and even when Jesus was on the cross, all kind of manner of things were happening. People that were having no hope. That's like they have lost hope. Oh, there's our Lord and there's, and there's Jesus on the cross. What do we do next? Not knowing that the evidence unseen was the things being broken in the Spirit. And bring reconciliation. And bringing a deliverance to the world. Hell, death, and the grave was being broken and reconciliation and love was being poured out through His character. The truth of the gospel must be heard. The truth of the gospel must be preached. So He come to heal the brokenhearted. The ones that are spirits have been broken through many ways. Many situations have come into our life and brought brokenness and, and oppression and depression and all these different things that the enemy tries to pull us away from God. But God wants to bring re reconciliation. He wants to be our Father. As a young man, as a young boy, my father was killed in war. He was killed in Vietnam. And many years later, I did not know what exactly was going on, but I was actually in a service one night in South Africa. I was in Africa. I don't know if anybody else has been to Africa, but I was there one time, or several times actually. But this one particular time, the Lord spoke to me in the service as a man was preaching. And He said, I realize you didn't have a father. I realize you weren't raised by a father. He said, I love you so much. I brought you into this world through this man, but I love you so much. I couldn't trust you with this man. And I loved you so much, I decided to raise you myself. That's what the Lord said to me. And the Lord raised me. Sometimes I didn't even know I was being raised, but He chastises us and brings us to where we need to be, even though we don't even know what's happening. I've been on the streets. I've eaten hot dogs off the food truck. I've lived in my car. I've been on drugs and, and, and living in ditches, holding up signs, will work for food. But when I gave my life to Christ, He changed my life. I don't have to beg for bread anymore. He sent the ravens to feed the, the prophet. He'll, 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 he'll send whoever to meet your need. Amen. And the greatest thing that He brought to meet our need was Christ Himself. Amen. He said He will meet our need according to His riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And He brought it through Jesus. And Jesus said He's come. And these are the needs that are being met. He's come to heal the brokenhearted. <laughs> what a need. No one ever talks about that need. He said He's come to heal the brokenhearted. Where spirits are broken inside where they feel like there is no hope. But there's always hope in Christ. As long as He is alive and He is alive and well, there is hope. <laughs> 
The girl just came over here. He said he sent them to heal the brokenhearted. To preach deliverance. If you are bound up, you can be touched by God and the Spirit of the Lord brings deliverance. He can set you free. I don't care what you're into. I have been everything from A to Z. And I say here today, stood right here, I am free. For who the Son of God sets free is free indeed. And I am free. I don't go back to the way I used to be. I don't go back to the things I used to do. God took that stuff away from me and gave me a love for Him and gave me a love for the things of the kingdom and gave me a love to know who He is. A relationship with the living God. Changed my whole life. Changed my perspective. Now, what I see the world, the things I used to do, I want to share with the world that you can be free. The Bible declares He came to deliver the captives and to set them free. Recovering of the sight to the blind. You know, the Bible talks about being short-sighted. Even unto blindness. He says, add to your faith, faith add to your faith virtue. Virtue, self-control. Self-control, brotherly kindness. Brotherly kindness and, and, and love. And he says, if you add to these things and, and abound in them, that he would open up an entrance to you. He will open up the things of the kingdom to you. And he says, if you don't do these things, you're stumbling around blind, even unto blindness. Stumbling around, you become short-sighted that we forget even what we have been, we, what we've been delivered from. Because some of us, even in my early stages of my Christian walk, or, or, or I said, Lord, come into my life. But God knew when I was serious and He knew when I was playing games. Because the Bible says He grants repentance. He grants it to those who really call upon His name and really cry out to Him. And I cried out to God many times in my life. But nothing ever really changed. But one day I did cry from my heart. I cried from my spirit. And he said he came to heal the brokenhearted. And he came and he healed my life. And he will do that in your life as well. And he'll bring sight to the blind. Sin will blind you from the truth. It will. But when the truth is spoken and the anointing of God and the Spirit of God does all manner of things, He opens up our eyes. He begins to where we can open up our eyes and we can see again. We can see. Oh, praise God for sight. Praise God for sight. And he says he became, he says in the last part of this scripture, he said it's at liberty to those who are bruised. There's people that have been hurt in this world. There's people right now under the sound of my voice who have been damaged and bruised on the inside. It's a bruise that you really can't see sometimes. But he brings healing and deliverance and liberty to those who are bruised. And if you need prayer today, if you need prayer, for I believe in the gospel. I believe that He does bring liberty. I believe that He brings healing, my brother. I believe He does all manner of things. But the thing is, we need to come to Him and up, up, open up our hearts and receive and believe and believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ. And He will bring those things that we need into our life. Some things we don't even realize that we need. And He brings. And He brings deliverance. So if you need prayer today, if you need healing in your body, you can come right now and I'll pray for you. I will pray for you because He brings healing. If you need a deliverance in, a, in an area of your life, come now and, and I will pray for you. And that He will bring sight. John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. He hadn't even seen Jesus yet, but God gave him sight that he would see Christ and for who he is. 
Because when we see Christ for who He is, we realize and we see ourselves for who we are. And that we need Him in every area of our life. In every area of our life. Receive Christ. Receive the kingdom. Father God, I pray for my sister, Lord. I pray that you give her soundness of mind. I pray, Lord God, that the Holy Spirit would touch her in such a way that she would never be the same to me. I rebuke the enemy in her life. I rebuke it. I pray that you bring soundness of mind. Soundness of mind. Be glorified in her life, Lord God. Be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. If you need prayer for healing, you need prayer for anything, the altar is open. Father God, I pray for arthritis. I rebuke it. You need gloves? You need gloves? I rebuke it. I rebuke it. Like red, white. You need gloves? I pray that you bring healing. Sure, I'll take red. Get some gloves.